Okay, so we need to prove that A cross B union C equals A cross B union A cross C. In other words, we need to show that these two sets are equal. And the way we establish that is by showing that each is a subset of the other. Also notice that both sets contain ordered pairs. So let's start by assuming that the ordered pair x, y belongs to A cross B union C. We know this is true because A cross B union C is a Cartesian product of two sets. Hence, it's a set that contains all ordered pairs such that X belongs to A and Y belongs to B union C. Well, if this is true, then we know that if and only if the first element X belongs to A and Y belongs to B union C. Just by the definition of the Cartesian product, if X, Y belongs to A cross B union C, then this means that X belongs to A and Y belongs to B. Notice the if and only if argument works in both directions. Okay, if and only if X belongs to A and Now, what does it mean for Y to belong to B union C? Well, it's just, it just means that the definition of the union that either Y belongs to B or Y belongs to C. Again, uh, just using the definition of the union, we know that if, if Y belongs to B union C, then Y belongs to B or Y belongs to C. All right. So moving quickly forward. At this point we're going to distribute the AND operator so we know that X belongs to A and Y belongs to B or we know that X belongs to A and Y belongs to C. Again what I've done is just distributed the AND across the parentheses. Well then, this just means that the ordered pair XY belongs to A cross B. Just this part right here. Because if X belongs to A and Y belongs to B, then the ordered pair XY must belong to the Cartesian product of A and B. And similarly for this, if X belongs to A and Y belongs to C, then of course X, Y belongs to the Cartesian product A cross C. Well, we're almost done here. So now if the ordered pair X, Y belongs to A cross B or A cross C, it must also belong to the union of A cross B A cross C. So essentially we started out by assuming that XY belongs to A cross B union C which was our left hand side and using the if and only if argument and the definition of the Cartesian product in the union we were able to derive or arrive to the fact that X Y also belongs to A cross B union A cross C, which was our left hand side. So a couple of pointers here. Uh, since we're using the if and only if argument, it works in both directions and you need not um, have two separate parts to the proof. And um, secondly, what we can say right here is a statement. KVD. So hope this helps and
and uh, hope to see you in another video.